Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Now I work with Macs, my iMac 24 here being a great example, and I do love the machines, they're great for video editing, but there's two things that really bug me about them. One is the lack of ports, and two is how expensive Apple charge for the SSDs in these machines. So this iMac 24 that I've got here that I use for the studio for recording audio, light video editing and other bits and pieces, is absolutely fantastic, but it's only got a 512 gigabyte SSD. Also, it only has USB-C ports that are at the back of the machine, so it's a real pain constantly plugging in and out at the back of the machine to do anything. So I saw that a case released a 10-in-1 dock. Now this will plug straight into my iMac or a MacBook and bring back all those legacy ports that I need on a day-to-day -day basis, but also it includes an M.2 slot, so I can also put in an SSD in here so I can increase the storage of my iMac. So let's open it up and take a look. Now this comes in three colours. I have chosen the silver. It also has space grey or a black version. But obviously if you've got a silver or space grey Mac, you're probably going to want to choose the relevant colour for your Mac. So here is the device itself. Now it's got quite nice weight to it, so it's going to sit nicely on your desk. What I also liked about this device is the fact that a lot of the ports are on the top. I've tested a lot of other docks and the ports are on the side. And that is still great, but it's not as convenient plugging things in and out. I'm looking forward to testing this one with all the main ports on here, so I can just pop devices straight in and out onto the top of this little dock. Now, we've got two USB-A ports, a USB Type-C, a headset jack, a full-size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. This here is our bay for our M.2, which we're going to take a look at in a minute. On the left side, we've got a 4K 60 HDMI slot and an RJ45 slot for your Ethernet. On the other side, we've got our host cable, which will go to my iMac in this case, but also a MacBook or a Windows Ultrabook, and a power delivery port. So this can do 100 watts power delivery. So if you plug in a 100 watt Apple charger or relevant USB-C charger into this device, it will also not only power all your peripherals on this actual device itself, it will actually charge your MacBook, making this a nice one dock solution with one cable straight through to your MacBook. Now build quality feels excellent. It's a good heft to it. It's obviously aluminium, so that should help dissipate the heat from the SSD. Now let's have a look. How do we open this? Oh, there we go, that's quite nice. No screws needed. It's got just little balls on either side that lock that in place. And then as we can see inside here, we've got our M.2 slot, and then different mounting points depending on the size SSD that you've bought. Another thing I liked about this Acasis dock is not only can it do your M.2 sort of Gen 3 drives, but it can also do your M.2 SATA drives, some, some of your older M.2s. I personally got a one terabyte uh, SATA drive over there that I'm going to be using for this. It's too old to put in any of my laptops nowadays. Perfect to be using as an external storage. Let's see what else we've got in the box. That's quite nice. We've got a nice little rubber case that you can put around the device if you're going to be put, carrying it in your bag. So that's quite handy. Keep it safe. So this is nice. No screws needed. We've got little rubber pins to put in here for our SSD. So that's going to hold our SSD in place. So you're not going to have to use a screwdriver to put it in. And we've also got some thermal tape that we're going to put on the SSD so that we can transfer the heat from the SSD out through this aluminium case itself. And lastly, we've got a small manual. Now, sadly, there's no cable included in this. Fortunately, I've got loads, but it does not include a cable in the box. So first things first, let's test the SSD. So I've got a Samsung 850 Evo here, M.2. It's a one terabyte in size. Now this is just a SATA, so it's not as fast as your Gen 3 M.2s, but it's a drive going spare uh, that I can't use any of my laptops. So this is perfect for this project. So let's pop this little pin on there. I'm going to put it into the M.2 slot, and I'm going to clip it into place. It's that easy. No screwdriver needed. It's really handy. And they've given you a spare as well. And then we need our thermal tape the actual drive itself, make sure you put it over the actual memory chips because that is going to take the heat away from the SSD and like transfer it through the actual case itself and cool your SSD down. 
and obviously as we've got no screws we're done so that is brilliant we have installed that in seconds so that is very handy most of the other drives i've had you need to unscrew it all to get the ssd in that's very quick i'm going to just quickly test this travel case as well see what this is like now obviously if you've got this on your desk all the time you probably wouldn't want to use this it's going to make the device look less attractive but if you're popping this in your bag, say with traveling with your laptop, it's quite nice. It stops it getting scratched or even scratching your laptop whilst it's in your bag. So that's a nice little thought, putting that in there with it. You've still got access to all of your ports and it also makes it nice and stable on your desk as well. So a nice little touch. Right, I'm gonna test this out. Okay, so we're plugged in. Obviously I have to supply my own cable. Here we are on the desk. Okay, so we're in Mac. You can see that I've got my existing internal hard drive in my iMac. And then we've got the storage drive, which I've just installed in here and wiped using XFAT. So now let's just quickly do a speed test. Now bear in mind, this is only a SATA SSD because I'm not too bothered about the speed. You could put a Gen 3 M.2 in here, it would be a lot quicker. But for an external storage, I'm more than happy with that. So just under 400 megabytes write, just under 500 megabytes read. Absolutely perfect for me for a storage drive. Right, just take a few files and copy them over. Nothing on there. See how we get on. So there we go. File copies whizzed across. Let's try the SD card readers. Let's start with a micro SD card. Let's take a clip from here. Four gigabytes. Copy that. I'm going to put it straight onto the external drive. See how we get on. So, copying from the SD card, you see we get 100 megabytes a second. That's pretty impressive. This isn't the quickest. SD card I've got here. That's not bad at all. So that's copying straight from this SD card to the internal SSD in here. Now I'm going to try a full size SD card. So I'm going to take a six gigabyte file from this card and I'm going to put it straight onto the internal iMac SSD. See how we get on. So again, we get 102 megabytes a second. Seems to be the limit. Oh no, we got 112 megabytes a second. Okay, so I'm just going to plug in an external SSD into the drive. Now this is the only thing that I've noticed. I, I love the fact that the ports are on the top, but if this is something that's going to be plugged in permanently, it can look a little bit messy. But because I'm going to be plugging things in and out, this doesn't bother me in the slightest for the moment. Let's take a file from this SSD. Paste it onto the iMac. See how we do. Oh, that's instantaneous. So great, no problems at all. So now I've got the internal SSD, I've got two SD cards and a second external through this drive, all host powered through the iMac with no problems at all. So pretty impressive stuff. So conclusion then, this is a fantastic little device that brings all of your ports back to your MacBook, Ultrabook, or in my case, an iMac. Not only does it give those ports back, but it also provides you with an M.2 slot for some external storage. Now that is the two biggest gripes I've got with my iMac here. The fact that I've only got 512 gigabytes of storage in there and the fact that I've got just a few USB-C ports that are at the back of the machine. I've got easy access to all the main used ports that I use in a day-to-day -day operation right here on top of this device. Now the only thing I would say against this design, I think it's great in that if you're plugging things in and out of this dock, it's very easy to do with them sitting on the top like this, and I really like it, but it is gonna make it a little bit messy on your desk. So if you've got things, if you're gonna have cables plugged in all the time, it means you're gonna have constantly have like maybe USB-C cables or Type-C cables dangling out of this dock on a daily basis. But if like me, you're just plugging in flash drives or external hard drives regularly on the top of here, then they're not staying in there, I think it's brilliant. Same with the SD card slot. It's so easy to access. So you just need to ask yourself, how are you using this device? If, like me, it's for constantly plugging things in and out, I think this really makes sense. And the fact that I've got my external SSD in here, 
a one terabyte sitting there freeing up that space from the iMac is the icing on the top of the cake. Now as usual, put your questions in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. There will be a link in the product description so that you can click it and take you through to Amazon to buy one of these if you're interested in one. And as always, thanks for watching.